again, here are the Bulls now. Three-point lead. Pass to Harper. No luck on that one. The Supersonics go the other way with it. Here's Ellis. Covered by Jordan. Here's Kersey. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. And the first one at the line is good. And he can't hit the second. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. So on the floor for Seattle. Here's Peyton. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Pippen. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Makes it. And the next one could tie it up. And it's tied up with that one. Didn't get to the line in the first half, but since the break, he's been in attack mode. Great adjustment. Pass to Jordan. Here's Rodman. Here's Kukoc. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Clock at two. And again, no good by Chicago. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. So he hits one of two from the strike. And hey, he did just enough to get the lead. That's what's most important. No one covered. And the Bulls lead by two. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Here's Kersey. Pass to Ellis. Clock at four. Over Jordan. It's all in by the Bulls. Here's Harper. Now here's Jordan. Shot from the top of the key. And the Bulls get it back. It's not going to go for him. Here's Seattle. Two-point game. They'll need to make some major adjustments to compensate for the fouling out of the game on the line. the gap to one. It's both from the strike. In a tight game, he is exactly who he wanted at the line. And Chicago has possession. Here's Harper. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Harper. Six on the shot clock. Here's Bushler. And the three off target. Here's Ellis. And a miss there on the triple. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Out of bounds. Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. The score tied at 107. 34 seconds left in the game. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. You just simply can't measure how valuable he's been to them tonight. Using his head, great shooting percentage, not taking any bad shots. Wow, that led to a pretty spectacular game. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what the head coach of the Bulls said to the team. He was direct with his message, saying, quote, this is the playoffs. Leave it all out there on the floor. It's winning time. Finish it. Back to you. Allie, thank you. Second chance shot. Robin. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. 
Yeah, and you have to try to make something happen. I mean, they have to be aggressive at this point, even if it's risking a foul. He sinks the clutch free throw. The Bulls making a switch here. Can knock it down, and they really needed that one. Timeout called the Supersonics. They trail by one. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Your thoughts, guys? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. If they've got a sure fire quick bucket of play, uh, let's just say now's the time to use it. Big possession. They have a chance to take the lead. It'll be interesting to see what they run. Peyton up top. Pulls up. High post. So it's the Bulls taking the W in a close one. And this is a critical win for them. They grab the lead in the series after splitting the first two games. Yeah, game three feels like a game seven if the series is tied. It has a huge impact. They're in the driver's seat now as long as they don't lose their focus. Well, that'll do it. Thanks for joining us for game three of the NBA Finals. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for...